No. Sleep in there, kid? Don't worry. I'm sure today's gonna be just a nice, quiet jaunt through the woods. You know, the woods full of things like trees and uh, flowers and fungi. This seems like an incredibly bad idea, all considered. And it looks pretty beautiful, even if there is a. Uh, BIRDS! Fucking birds. But, um. Really, just does look gorgeous, I gotta give them that. It's quite refreshing, actually, to see a forest design that isn't just bland and. one texture, as it were. You could put effort into the skybox, the trees have got different shadings and whatnot. You can stuff like this, there's a little riverbed and stuff. Dried up, you know, for the most part. Well, it's not even a riverbed, it's some sort of drainage ditch by the look of it, but still. Even that adds to the atmosphere, you know? Funny. Awesome. An actual wildlife. That is a rarity in games, believe it or not. Even in modern games, you'll tend to go through wooded areas and never encounter a single animal of any sort. I can climb up here. Nice. Seems to be any point. Can't see any goodies in the distance. That disappoints me greatly. I was hoping to find all sorts of wonderful resources out here in Mother Nature. But no, as is a case of life imitating art. Nature in video games take me as much as nature does in real life. Not quite in the same way, I mean, Joel's not sniffling and clawing at his rapidly swelling eyes, but still. The same general theme is there. I think there's a subtle disdain that uh, we can all agree on. Goodies, goodies. Hmm. You know, the more I explore, the more I realise just exactly how boxed in I am in pretty much all of these level designs so far. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're gorgeous. I mean, you have to restrict space to get this level of detail in there, I know. But still. You know, I don't think I'd even really notice this if I wasn't LPing it. I'd just run around, collect shit, head to my next objective, run around, collect shit. Spend time pouring through the notes for story tidbits. Little bits and pieces like the actual mechanics of the game and... You coming, kid? In your own time. I thought Joel was slow, but... God damn. Let's see, if I was living here, I'd be holed up inside that giant water tower, far above the ground and away from all the zombies. Just drain it out, fill it full of food, oh, nice bed. We have guns and things. No. We could just shoot the lock no, off. The Blow that center, probably around. attract zombies. Uh, Climb on the rock. On the shed, jump over. Of course not. There's even an invisible wall there to stop me from even touching the rock. I shouldn't be noticing invisible walls in this generation of games. I really shouldn't. Whoa, look. Hmm? What now? Fireflies. I mean, real fireflies. Yeah, I see that. They're already doing better than the Millicent group. I mean, they're alive. I lost myself for a sec. Uh. Hmm. You know, I assume that they named of the Fireflies as a symbol of mystery and wonder and whatnot. But apparently they named it for their lifespans. You become a Firefly, you last about as long as one. It's a pipe. With scissors attached to it. Nice, I like it. That's a stroke of brutal genius. Yeah, I get the idea, game. You've attached scissors to the pipe, making it stronger. I get you. It's fine, really. Can I make this jump? Don't fail me now, Joel! Ah, <laughs> oh, you disappointing geriatric bastard. Why would you do that? Uh, right, so I need a way of getting from that building to that building. Ooh. Ah, plank. Excellent. That solves that rather quickly. You know, you can't help, kid, I'm just saying. You're always whinging about how you want to pull your own weight. Now, here's your chance. Push that plank up to me, why don't you? I mean, this can't be doing Joel's aching joints any good. Unless we've got a shit ton of deep heat. I know it's not for joints, that's for muscles, but still you get the general idea. He's old, is what I'm saying. Subtle, I know, but, uh... You listen, the humor's there. Hey, you, Bill. No, that's a church. Huh? It's a different place. Oh, fuck off. Don't do this to me again, game. I had enough of this yesterday. That smoke, you think that's him? Sure as hell better be. Well, let's go check it out then. 
Right, mm. judging by what fucked up on the recording there, basically Joel has never actually been to this town before to meet the guy. They've always met him somewhere else. He's the, uh, the contact that Tess and Co. Uh, deliver medicines to and from and whatnot. They're trading partners, basically. Yeah, like I say, Joel's never actually been to this town. Which fills me with uh, a lot of confidence. What is the fascination with scissors? They're everywhere. People apparently just carried random scissors around with them everywhere. For no particular reason. Down here. I mean, it's better fitting me, I know, but still. Step. Just seems Good to drop. be such weird, if you ask me. Any Zambas? We're infected, I suppose I should call them. Because they're not technically zombies. Bottle. Anything good hidden around here, maybe? Goodies in the corners? Very disappointed, there's no goodies in the corners. My rewarding is not being as a. Uh, my exploring is not being as rewarding as I was hoping. Don't know what I'm trying to say, those two things. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I see you there. And, ooh, fuck. Yeah, I see, this is the way it would have been, would it? I would have blundered down those stairs over there, and Nobhead over there would have chomped me in the face. That would have been that. Insta-kill. Hmm. Well. I can just drop straight past him. I'm not sure what, if anything, the other guy's guarding, though. Probably best to try and find out. Fuck, my throat is absolutely buggered today. I really shouldn't be doing this. I kind of want to get a, you know, a couple of sessions of this done because uh, I've just recently got back from town and I bought myself a copy of Demon Souls. <sighs> Coughing and spluttering like a son of a bitch. But yeah, like I was trying to say, got myself a copy of Demon Souls and I really want to start playing that. So if I've explored and messed around as much as I really can in terms of uh, Dark Souls at the minute, I have one of every single type of build. And short of going out of my way to do if you want to call the cosplay builds where you deliberately limit yourself to one very specific armor type, kind of thing you dress up as like a black knight or a silver knight or whatever. It's one of the NPCs. There's not really much left I could do, and I say if I'm perfectly brutally honest, the game after you you know, do the Anno Londo stuff kinda of bores me. DLC's kind of interesting, I mean it's once you know what you're doing, it's fun finding different ways to kick the shit out of Artorias, but... Yeah, for the most part, after you get past down Orlando, the game just sort of goes rapidly downhill. At least in terms of interest, anyway. For me, that is. And it's going to be different for different people, I know. I think it's something to do with the fact that I think Anolando's... Anolando is really the last time the game gives you any real sort of handed out story, stuff you don't have to go hunting for. So if you're big on the story like I am, and yeah, I can't bother sitting there reading through item descriptions. See, so yeah, I'm gonna try Demon Souls out. I understand it from were a bit, a bit more lenient in terms of the cutscenes and the storytelling in their first venture. They pared it down and made it more determined on the player in Dark Souls. I'm interesting to see how that'll play out in Dark Souls 2, actually. Will they go back to the Demon Souls approach of having, you know? Proper, if admittedly short, but proper cutscenes, or is it going to do the uh, the Dark Souls approach? I mean, you have to find everything in item description. The fuck is that? New enemy? Are you all right? Oh, it's you. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. Now? Does now it seem like the time? The creatures out there they react to sound, and you're trying to fucking whistle. I should choke you with these pills. I really should. Last hope for mankind or nay? Stupid little bitch, why would you do that? Give me a second. You know, if, if it was any other circumstance, if we were in like a, a, you know, a safe area, like we're, we're out in the woods there, that might have been cute. Here in the town, full of ravenous monsters, so like I say, react to sound, it was just feckin' stupid. Jesus Christ. That must be a note from Bill. Reminding himself to, yeah, talking about meeting up with Tess and whatnot. Which is going to be difficult now, admittedly. 
Unless he needs something to fertilize his plants with. Uh, there's a way over there, at least. Wait, do I even need to come into this building? You know, everything is relative in you know, a survival game in terms of need, but I could have walked straight past this entire area. Actually, that's the point. What's the point of the clickers, then? They're not actually guarding anything. So there's often some empty bottles, but I don't need empty bottles anywhere near that desperately. It's jammed from the other side. You know there are monsters. Don't rattle things. Yeah, I get the idea, game. There's a gap, yeah. Sounds such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we going to get over there? Are you calling me fat? All right, come here. Give me your foot. Now listen, you just open it, okay? Nothing else. It's your thing. Tossed her like a caber. Easy, easy. But funny if he misjudged the strength and just sent her flying. At least I think he would be anyway. But I have a uh, rather cruel sense of humour, as we all know. Fuck, that's loud. Hey, it's really lucky that I'd say the oral detection range on the enemies is, you know, almost nothing. There are certain actions that apparently don't even count. So yes, I hear you growling and clicking, you asshole. Then what? Well, then we go find Tommy. Marlene said he's your brother? And more importantly, he was a firefly. He actually survived. Know where to take you. That's a miracle in and of itself. Okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need the car. How did Tommy get all the way away from here? It's pretty much every vehicle we've seen belongs exclusively to the military. Did he sign up? <laughs> gnomes. Yeah, those are gnomes. Man, I had an art book filled with these. Fuck, if you can kick things. So cute. <laughs> Not fairies, though. They creep me out. Yeah, vicious little bastards. Right, yeah. They bite. Goodies. Lots and lots and lots and lots of goodies. So again, I apologize for the gaps you guys will keep hearing in my commentary. That's literally me cutting out every time I go into a coughing fit. Random weeds that I'll naturally shove into Joel's face to make him more powerful. Or at least think he's more powerful. When actually he's running around naked. Wearing uh, his pants atop his head. Much to the confusion of the zombies. Not that it takes much to confuse them. Uh, sort of Silent Hill feeling coming in from this uh, the seer town. Any more zombies? Yeah. Again, I don't know why I'm bothering doing the echolocation thing. It's not actually that useful. I'm kind of disappointed. Even with the extended range, a lot of time. So I've had times when there's like a zombie stood. I can hear them growling and whatnot. They're literally on the other side of a wall. But the echolocation doesn't pick them up. Even though I know they're there. I can spin the camera around to look around the wall, edge of the wall and see them. But the echolocation won't pick them up. It bugs out or something. There's been a lot of little bugs in the game so far. And I want to give it the benefit of the doubt, at least try and use the mechanics I'm supposed to be using, kind of thing. Ooh, video games. Oh, I remember playing machines like this during the uh, local chip shop as a kid. We had a Golden Axe cabinet and a uh, Street Fighter one. Would you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, yeah, we all had that kid. There's this character called Angel Knives who. What was it? She punch a hole. Fuck was that? Like before kicking your head off. There's something upstairs. Uh, I was never a big fan of these things. I don't think it lights the video games, whatever it is. It's not even a power. Oh, that is poor naughty dog. All the detail you've put in, and the back of the game's cabinet doesn't even have a power cord. Really now? Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! All these and many more things I keep finding wrong with your game so far. Not wrong, but they are nitpicks, let's face it. But you could argue there are things that shouldn't be there when you, you know, build your game as being this big immersive world full of great detail and impact. Especially when you draw attention to the object by making it a banter point. 
don't know if that's a real term, but that's how I'm going to refer to these random events where uh, characters start gossiping about stuff. There's banter points. They're essentially just event triggers, I know, but still. That's how I refer to them. Henceforth, I do believe. Any goodies? Mm. Nope, that window is not interactable. Not for any of these doors or things, apparently. Hmm. Gotta say, even, gotta say, even the earlier time pills had the common sense to either have the doors obviously inaccessible, or to have a little thing that just goes, jiggle jiggle, it's locked. Or whatever. Just making me not able to even look at the door, that's... Mm. So I can deal with this, it's obviously bolted over or grown over or something. That's fine. Uh, might be things in that direction. Might be things in this direction as well. Mm. Let's go this way first, I think. We'll loop back round to that store on the left there. Nope, can't even go in the RV. Damn, you could have had a Silent Hill 2 reference there. Hmm. Found like a weird notepad or something. Work. Anybody else the crash car? As I know, it's just oh, the barricade, right, of course. Yeah, barricade. Makes more sense. Hmm. You know, actually, all considering, I think living on your own in a situation like this probably has its advantages. It means less people around to get bitten and infected and... The fuck's that? Oh, piss! Go away, go away! It's on that! Jesus! Whoa, what the hell was that? That was a trap. Would be one of Bill's traps. Awesome. In front of your paranoid, maybe? In the zombie apocalypse? I sort of doubt it's possible. What's the deal with this guy? Well, it's a fucking genius by the look of it. Stuff into the cities. He knows how to find things. Don't you dare, game. Blow up trying to find him. Just watch your step. You'll be fine. Damn, locked. Need full shiv. Do I got enough stuff to make a shiv? Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, we have. Right, cool. Just looking completely the wrong. Are you still trying to whistle, kid? Again, it's not a good idea. We just demonstrated deadly monsters. Right. Oh man, you gotta teach me how to do that. Yeah, I really don't, kid. Mine, mine, also mine. Taking all your shit, just pills on the stairs as you do. Actually, it occurs to me just. There being sort of stashes around the city, that makes sense if there's one guy living here on his own. You have little caches hidden around, so if he gets trapped in one area or another, he has supply. Ooh, hello. Lara's been here. Yeah, I reckon he is. Ooh, do I get to use a bow in this game as well? Excellent. Stealth kills for the win. Especially when I can do them at a distance. It's even better, really. <clears throat> is there even any point in making me do this with this ladder literally right here? Even as padding, it doesn't really count. This is just reminding me I can pick stuff up. But again, I did that like two seconds ago, so you shouldn't really need to. <laughs> Man! Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Triangle, please. There we go. Let me use that. I'm a pretty good shot with that thing. It's mine. You can't have it. Kind of stuff to me. Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. Yeah. Perhaps another day, Mighty Midget. Uh, is this game going to drop me down there and then force me to give her the weapon to defend me? Really hope not. No? Is it going to drop her down there and force me to defend her? No, apparently not. She got over safely. Ah, right, okay, I see. Yeah, I'm going to need to bring that plank all the way back, aren't I? Yeah, not one up here conveniently this time. This seems to be the new thing in this it? What the fuck are you doing, Joel? Does now seem like the time to begin your acrobatics? Use this. Fuck. Considering how context dependent yeah, context dependent everything else is. I thought you'd have the common sense to turn around and climb down the ladder when I push the button. Not leap valiantly to his near death.
and supremely unlikely event anyone from North Doug is watching. That is the kind of thing you do need to address. Fucking hell. You kill yourself with that kind of shit. Right. No goodies hidden around the corner, maybe? Then again, the rooftops would seem like a night. What? Nothing down there. Where you are shitting about now. Oh. Oh, right, him. Now, he's technically far enough away from that little ledge there, I could probably just walk past and get up without him even seeing me. On the other hand, I kind of want to stick an arrow in his face. Can I? Oh. Yeah. I thought maybe I could pull the plank across and just walk over his head. Really piss him off, that'd be amazing, but no, apparently not. Um. Uh, you know, Boggs, I'm gonna stick an arrow in his face. Let's give this baby a whirl. Oh, oh, that's different. The longer I hold down the button, the more tension I get. Then I want to. F Ooh. Joel. Yes. Even with Joel's Parkinson's. One shot kill to the face. That's right, you best be impressed, little lady. Hey, listen. Can I get the arrow back? Bill ain't exactly the most stable no. of individuals. So when we get there, you let me do the talking. You understand? And that's kind of what I'm here for, dude. We gotta be clear on this. He, he don't take too kindly to strangers. Alright. Again, a sensible policy during the zombie apocalypse. Definitely need some time warming up to you, so. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, she's kind of a uh, aggressive, isn't she? I can see that really not playing well with someone who is a uh, paranoid, as Mr. Joel here mentions. It's a one-way trip. Why do I not have a good feeling about this? The game's, you know, forcibly preventing me from going backward. And I just realised I never went into that shop, did I? Stay underneath it, okay? Ah, fuck. Ah, I realised that just as I step off the edge of the re-unclimbable ladder. Oh, piss. Come on then. Yeah. Come on. I'm gonna bottle you in the face. Oh, come on, I should clearly get something from echolocation there. Unless it's a... Ooh, unless it's a triggered event. Look at this. I know, it's pretty dirty, right? Empty truck, disappointing. Oh! Oh, right, you were probably... Yeah, talking about the high-powered explosives wired across the gate there. Not sure you need two of them in that situation. Seems like a bit of a waste. One... Yeah, one would definitely do it. Strapped around about that waist height. Oh come on! I should. I want to see what we can find. You're gonna find my body when I die from a heart attack. Don't worry, I got this. Seriously, still nothing. Oh, whatever. Bad feeling about this. This is gonna be some sort of event trigger bullshit, isn't it? Is there's nothing actually there? Actually, that's kind of lazy on your behalf again, Naughty Dog. You put the echolocation feature in there, you can have a clear source of noise. But nothing's there because it's not actually... If you know, we've cheaped out on resources by not actually loading a character model to create the noise. We know there's something in here, so there's no point doing this bullshit. You might as well just have the guy appear. Have him already in here, you know? I'm doing this nonsense of uh... a. Right, where do I have to walk to get into a pit? Ooh. Is he here somewhere? Oh fuck! Oh come on! How the fuck did you notice me? I was in stealth mode. Holy jeez! That thing scared the shit out of me. Out of you? It tried to kill me. While we're here, let's search the place. What's he even doing? Oh, he's taking his medicine. Oh dear. I get terrible when he wasn't even infected, just constipated. He's like, ah, help me! I just can't get it out! And I stabbed him in the neck. Not to Raquel. Or Rachel, more accurately. Uh, da -da, soldiers going door to door. Put all that stuff in some suitcases. Hope you meet me soon. Uh, see you soon. Elsa. You think they ever found each other? How the hell would I know? Joel, don't be a dick. I'd like to think they did. 
in this situation more so than any other. If the kid wants to indulge in a bit of harmless romanticism, let her. Yeah, it's kind of interesting actually, this game has me bouncing back and forth between cursing Ellie and defending her. Very strange. A lot of conflicting emotions going on here. Much like Joel's himself. That sentence didn't come out anywhere near the way I wanted it to. Right, anything else in here? Other than the note to Rachel. Is this just an optional area for a bit of story? Hmm, starting to look that way. Don't you go out the window or something? No, apparently not. I guess this really was just optional story area. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. Let's get the hell out of here. Again, I suppose it's all part of the game's sprawling tutorial. Teaching you that going off the beaten path rewards you with your little story items, goodies, but also deadly danger. That is bullshit and scripted. So you can't actually avoid it. Like, you know, you should be out if you're being cautious, as I clearly was. You coming to the wedding march, kid? That's really fucking weird. Especially in this situation. You don't get me wrong, like I've mentioned, I appreciate the fact you have your own little thing going on and whatnot. You don't wait for me to look at something or interact with you to, for you to actually, you know, entertain yourself and whatnot, but... Get a sense of priority. Huh. Imagine being really stupid here. Can I just smash these? Right, stand back. Fuck, am I wasting an arrow? With my bottle. Oh, fuck off. I can as well. I just ran around in circles for like 30 seconds. There's one way to do it. But I could have just triggered the bombs myself just by lobbing an empty bottle at them. Hmm. Oh. Don't worry if I borrow this, do you, mate? He's a mind. He said it was okay. He implied it was the, uh. Get back. The shape of his smile. Brick. He even put the brick right next to the explosive just in case I haven't gotten it yet. Thank you, naughty dog. Can I just climb over? There's like boxes and things there. So it just strikes me as making all this noise and disarming all the traps. It's not the best way I could be doing this. I mean, not only am I going to be attracting infected by the sound of the noise, but when they do get here, there's nothing to explode them. Yeah, that's blocked off. Can't climb over that one, unfortunately. Just stay close. Mm, door, goodies, which are. You're giving me a lot of ammo all of a sudden. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? But I've also already mentioned I'm probably attracting infected. Oh, I got you. Damn it, Bill. Yeah, someone have been watching Tomb Raider, haven't they? What just happened? Another one of Bill's stupid traps. You know, this is even worse than Gortlin fighting. Because this I can't even run away from. That fridge, it looks like that's a counterweight. Okay. Yes, well, at least I don't have to go and direct her, or take control of her even worse, when she's unarmed. Right bring that there, bellow bro. bullshit. And it'll bring me down! On it! Ah, well, this is nice, I suppose. Just hanging, you know what it is. Joel! Oh, fuck. Shit, here they come. Piss off! Joel! Piss off! Piss off! No, get off me! Get off me! I am not a piñata! I am not a piñata! Fuck off! Boom! Headshot, bitch. So I also target headshots after that, that's good to know. How's it looking? Uh, fuck you! Fuck you again! Fuck you! Fuck you in the chest! That works. Excellent. Right. More knobheads. Oh, fuck. Speaking of, surprise, motherfucker! If I can hit you, you know you're in trouble. Must aim through Joel Parkinson's! Oh fuck. No 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 You cannot have a clicker come at me. He can't even see me. Why would he come towards me? I'm making no noise. Well other than the gunshots, but even so. Well I'm higher now, so I can't actually be touched, that's something. Come on, you can do it. Well they're all gonna go after you now instead, aren't they, kid? So I've gone from defending myself to now I've got to defend you as well. Actually, no, just you, because I'm technically speaking out of harm's reach. 
Right, first person to drop over gets one in the face. Or in the knee. Potato, potato. No, it's off. Do not lay hands on the mini wench. Hey, what did I just say? Don't make me shoot you in the ass, mate. I will do it. A lead enema is not a way to go. Not a nice way, you know what I mean. Bam! Bam! In the ass and in the dick. Hurry, they're getting closer. I think she's noticed, Joel. Get the hell. Yeah, they're not doing very well actually keeping hold of her. She's good for us. Oh, fuck you. You better not insta kill her as well. Little bell end. Nope, no, 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 no. Fuck off. Fuck off. There's nothing hitting her. Or well, hitting him, should I say. Will you fuck off? Joel! Control your Parkinson's, man. Oh, that gorge builds up very fast when it's one of these. Fucking hit something, Joel, please! Thank you. So I cannot end the bloody game here, of all things. Ow! Ugh, didn't need that face anyway. Push square, not to be an appetizer. Get off me, you freak! I sound ungrateful, but isn't this disease spread by bodily fluid contamination? You just poured a quart of blood all over my face. Nope, no, no. Time to run. They shut the door at least. That's something. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh no, 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 no! Don't do this. Don't do this. Ah, good. They didn't actually climb over in that meantime. That's that's something at least, right? But seriously, I've had enough of this bullshit. This is gonna kill me, isn't it? Fuck, 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 fuck. Run away, run away! I should have done this a lot earlier. Any time today, dude. Fuck you! Fuck! You! Fuck off! Ow, ow, I'm gonna die again. Run! Run! Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is floating above my TV and my screen now. I can't hear it. I can't do anything, dude. Seriously. Come on. Knock it off, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. I can hear one. I can hear one! Knock it off! Fuck! Well, thank you for that game. Helly do fuck you! Fucking damn it! Do I look like I have time for any of your shit? Do I look like I have the time? Oh dear. I've seen appendicitis and Bill was just helping out. Alright! <sighs> this is not the time I need instrument failure. Yeah, it's probably time to run away. Let me through, 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 let me through. I can hear one, I can hear one. Ooh, cutscene, I'm safe. Sorry, lady. Shop's closed. Go find another butcher's. Man, that was close. Uh, thanks for the heroics and all. Uh, Ellie. Well, he's fat. Hey, what are you, Joel? Yeah, yeah, we're not into that in this game, mate. Turn around and get on your knees. Just calm down a second. Turn around All right. and get on your knees. Don't test me. Just take it easy. You know, if I get the chance, I'm going to murder you for Anything this. Sprouting? Oh, God damn it, I'm clean. Well, I see so much as a trick. Surprise! Son of a bitch! I really am starting to like her. Are you done? Am I done? <clears throat> You come into my house, you set off all my traps. You yeah, sorry about that. Shooting arm. Who the fuck is this punk and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business and we're here because you owe Joel some favors. And oh. you can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favors. It's some kind of joke. I'll cut to the chase. Just me, it's her voice actually sounded a little too old at times. Well, it is a joke. Joel needs a car. Well, if I had one that works, which I sure as hell don't, what makes you think I'd just give it to you? My winning uh, smile? Yeah, sure, Joel. Go ahead. Take my car. My southern Take charm. My food, too, while you're at it. By the looks of it, you could lose some of that food. <laughs> <laughs> you I need you to shut up. Right. Why, she's the most entertaining part of this dialogue so far. Whatever favors you think I owe you ain't worth that much. Actually, Bill, they are. Well, it don't matter because I don't have a car that works. But there is one in this town. Parts. There are parts in this town. Meaning that you could fix one up. Uh, I smell a scavenger hunt. All right, I'm gonna do this. 
There's some gear I'm gonna need. All right. It's on the other side of town. Now you help me go gather it, and maybe I can put something together that runs. But after oh. this... If that's not a sporting indictment, I don't know what is. That's fine. A couple of days from now, we'll probably be dead anyway. Good. Follow you know, me. John, we have to find you some Prozac. Damn town's booby trap. Best stay right on my ass. Can't miss it. <laughs> uh, see you next time, folks.